Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I'm managing my inventory right now. I'm at a loss at, as to, clearly we're packing too much stuff. I mean, we only have two extra spaces right now. And I'm, and I'm hesitant as to what to leave behind because I'm, it's like whenever we take control of jail, Nemesis never too far behind and we need every bit of firepower we, need, we got. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? I went underground. Guards stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. I'm super cop. Besides, what am I supposed to do? Yes, I'm not talking to you out of this. No, you're not. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. Uh, so we are going after him. Uh, already we have too much stuff on us. So what Jill has that Carlos did in the last time was uh, her lockpick. And there were a lot of stuff that required the lockpick. So first things first, we are going to unlock all of those things. Such as this one. Okay, this leads us downstairs, uh, which I think is where the story is supposed to go. But we're going through the the rest of the hospital first to unlock everything. Hopefully, I won't run into any enemies, which is hoping against hope. By this point, it's almost we almost certainly will meet some monsters in here. But optimistically, most of them have been taken care of. Mag rounds. Uh, I'm thinking mag rounds maybe for the new weapon we got. Uh, actually, no, I don't think so. Mag rounds seems to be. It seems like the new the new G18 handgun is using the same uh, handgun ammo as the G19. Well, they're both G series, so what do I expect, right? Well, in that case, maybe I should try the new one. Prioritize it. And already I have... I'm, I'm already completely full in my hands. I should, probably should have left one of the handguns behind. Yeah, let's move on ahead. I don't think we will be able to get into this room again. Can we? Oh, we can. This looks like Nikolai's work. Well, it actually could be. That's a good call. I don't have space for it. I'm gonna have to clear some space. Carlos punched that, by the way. I'm 
I'm gonna leave you be. Uh, let's go open all the locks, finally. Oh, shit. Time to test the new pistol. Actually, maybe this is still a better job with the shotgun. Where did the thing go? There we go. Oh! Jill is pretty familiar with this, with this stuff. working all that well. The hunters are a lot more territorial in this game. Oh shit! Dodging. Ah! Oh, he came back to his place just to die. Oh, I'm missing the good old days when you can just off a hunter with one clean shot from the grenade launcher. Good times. Explosive rounds. There's a whole other different type of rounds than I have than I have in my. Uh, well, it's just let's just say I can't carry them right now. So we gotta need to come back to all these places to pick everything up. Absolutely. Um, we need to go upstairs, I think. It's interesting that they're bringing hunters back into the fold. This, this is like... Damn, they're fast. Okay, I've uh, used up all of my flame rounds. I guess the good news is I can actually go back down and... Uh, get the explosive round right now so I can use them when I need them because all I have in my uh, grenade launcher right now are two shots of mine rounds and I like my mine rounds but they sometimes they, they need to be preserved to serve for special purposes okay you go with me That's six shots of the explosive rounds. Uh, we better put them to good use. Next, we are going to the staff room. Yeah. 
Oh no, you don't. Everybody's getting back up. Guys, you don't have to go to work today. Now oh, where's the thing I need to unlock? Um, shotgun ammo is something I definitely want, but again, I have no space for it. Uh, the records room is pretty close by. Let's just uh, swing by and uh, manage the inventory a little better. Oh shit. That just blew his mind. Okay, so um, uh, management here, I'm gonna take just a one slice of health, which is a little risky. I'm gonna store away the mine rounds for now. Um, I'm also gonna put away one of the handguns. The mag, I don't think we can use right now. We're, we, we're gonna be picking up new weapon for it. In that case, I'm taking back the mine rounds, you know, just, just in case. I just really don't know when we're gonna, you know, see uh, Mr. X again. Uh, we have Explosive B here. That is, it's just dying to be combined with something. These guys, they are tough. Uh, we also have the linen room to explore. Let's get there right now. Okay, we're at the right door, and seems clear enough. There's a target. More mag rants. What is with the, oh this is the the last we were ever going to be using the lock pick that's okay I actually never expected it to part with it I'm kind of getting sentimental with it uh, this is for semi-automatic pistols which I don't know are we ever going to can we switch mode with this one? No, I don't think so. So uh, something gotta happen before we are able to use it. Maybe we need to upgrade the current pistol before we can use them. Uh, the treatment room, it suggested that this room is not fully explored. So let's just uh, walk around, see. Oh, explosive A. Hey, what can you? Oh, it gave me more flame rounds. Um, that's also cool, but uh, it's taking up some space here. So A and B produces flame rounds. I gotta remember this shit. And that's it for the treatment room. There seems to be something else in the sick room. 
We're gonna have to go back and forth just to manage everything. But Jill is pretty used to that, and so are we. I mean, we did all of that stuff a lot back in Resi 1. So, I'm gonna stock it here just because I kind of like the lockpick now. Uh, it feels a little, I feel kind of terrible if I just leave it behind. Store that. And... Ooh, I don't know. Do I want to leave behind the mine rounds? Am I gonna exp really regret that? I'm gonna leave behind the flame rounds for now. Because flame rounds and uh, explosive rounds, you know, they, they kind of can complement each other. Just, I mean, they serve similar functions that do a lot of damage at one big instance. I mean, flame rounds kind of has a more lasting, uh, lasting effect, which is what killed the hunter beta I think the names are hunter betas so the linen rooms are still not fully explored which is kind of weird I really don't see what else is still here oh look at that red herb I'm always missing something and it's now blue that is our biggest mission in this game is to turn every room from red to blue So the sick room is still red. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I was kind of worried that was it. The, the game wanted me to come back just to finish up one last zombie. Glad to see that was not the case. Hey, look at that high grade gunpowder. And now we're done. Now we are totally done. We can get downstairs and go after Carlos. Carlos has really turned out to be a much more interesting character than I, than I anticipated. So far, I have to say, whatever, whether you you prefer this game over the other Resident Evil games or not, I think characterization-wise, this has been the strongest entry in Resident Evil for a very long time in terms of uh, character development for the protagonist. I think Jill and Carlos, they have just great character motivations and personalities much more so than I felt with uh, Leon and Claire Leon and Claire they were awesome but more or less I felt like they were just uh, really good people strong-willed and uh, good-hearted and but that's about it Jill Carlos they I really feel their struggle And I'm super happy for that because if you've watched my playthrough for Resident Evil 1, I've talked about it. I the thing at the time uh, Resi can combine these two. Resi 3 was already uh, getting out, and I was playing Resi 1 as Joe Valentine. I didn't play through the Chris Redfield part, and I talked uh, ad nauseum about my biggest hope for. Resident Evil 3 Remake is for Jill Valentine to become a full-fledged character. Because Resident Evil 1, as entertaining as that game was, was not very big on characterization. I still have not figured out how to get to that. Oh, it's mocking me. 
how do I get to it? It's like it's right here if you can break this glass or something. Well, I, I never got to the safe that required the password concerning Aqua Cure Queen. So, uh, yeah, I'm totally just missing a lot of stuff here. Okay, Tyrell, I, um, I'm going after him. Tyrell so far seems like a solid dude. I mean, he doesn't seem as motivated by doing the right thing as far as much as Carlos, but he seems like he, he has a great sense of duty at least. Whether that duty is for for good or for bad, that probably remains to be seen. But I, I, at least I feel like he has a sense of comradeship with Carlos, and uh, I guess until they, unless they find themselves decidedly on. Uh, on different sides of things. Carlos seems, uh, Tyro seems like a, a good guy to watch your back. What happened to the guy who hid in uh, oh, at the back of the left. van? More explosive B. Oh, there's a generator here. That makes me wonder if I need to blow something up. That makes me wonder if Nemesis is once again after me. I need to put batteries in here again. Nope, the batteries are already in there. Apparently, this is a, a standard interface for a lot of mechanics in Raccoon City. Ooh, look at that. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? <laughs> Feeds me to it. Uh. So we have some umbrella trucks, some mysterious craters, I don't know, I, I guess out of context this doesn't seem all that suspicious, because umbrella is a pharmaceutical company and this is a hospital, it doesn't seem too weird that they have a truck here. Oh wait, 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 shoot. Anything else I missed? I deposited the red herb, didn't I? Idiot. I see that I can also go back if I want to. Oh, look at that. More space. But I definitely need all the supplies you can give me. Let's read this. Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub-generator situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. Wow. Sub-generators. So we need to plug some uh, small generators to a big one, that's what I'm gathering at. I don't know if that was an accurate guess of the situation, but that's it, the best I could do.
Oh, we got acid brand. I almost forgot about acid brand. So we got a bit of everything here, which is not good because well, it's good because we have a lot of choices for uh, different types of enemies, I guess. But the, the bad side of things is that they each take a different slot in the inventory, which is not abundant to begin with. And I'm I'm reluctant to leave behind my rounds because they are so special. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, let me store that. So we have four. Uh, I'm gonna take the gunpowder out because we might be we might have the chance to combine it with something. And. Right, you know, until I move ahead, I really don't know if I made the right choice or not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a mistake, but hey, whatever. So, uh, having read that note about the uh, algorithm malfunction... Oh. Nikolai? Uh, Nikolai, what are you doing? Is he gonna straight up murder me? That seems kind of extreme even for him. I can't go any other way. I'm gonna have to jump down from here, superhero landing, and confront him. Is that Nikolai or not? It's gotta be him. Yeah, it is him. For a moment I thought maybe it's Wesker, but Jill would recognize him. Am I gonna have a boss fight with Nikolai? Because I do want to kill his ass. Very much so. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. <clears throat> you think this is over? What the heck? What is? What is this thing? But this thing still works. This is this all I can find. Let's see if there's anything up here. Nope, everything's blocked. We gotta go. People in Raccoon City have it so tough. Everything is a puzzle. We can't go to the hospital or the parking lot or the police station or just anywhere without encountering a, a series of bizarre, crazy, out of this world puzzles. I'm sensing that's the actual reason they're trying to bomb the city. Okay, we are. Uh we got a fuse. Oh no, we don't have enough room for three fuses. Well, we can just... I guess we can go back to install them. More handgun ammo. We're definitely in for a boss fight. Or maybe it's just for those tenacious zombies. Oh shit! Where where did you come from?
God damn puppies. <sighs> of all the video games about puppies, Resident Evil is like the, the only one where I do not wish for a pet button. Is Nico like doing this? There's more to Nikolai than just being a dick. He's a super dick. Uh, but yeah, but I mean he's uh, probably working for some sinister causes. Wesker or Umbrella or some third party. Dead end. No, wait. Nothing's ever a dead end. We gotta check that the other part out first. You're sure we have nothing here? Okay, if there's nothing else, I'm gonna go back to install the first fuse. It's a little bit troublesome, but I wanna ensure I have maximum capacity and everything. Getting through here. <clears throat> I watched videos uh, about these narrow passages in video games that have become really frequent. Apparently, I mean, I'm knowing this is probably is gonna ruin some uh, gaming sequences for you because it's not something you can easily unsee once you see it. Uh, if that is the case, I'm sorry, but. Apparently those are mainly used so the game can load the next sequence in a relatively natural way without, you know, doling out a loading sequence in your face which always takes you out of the game straight away. And I do prefer this, so nothing to complain. Oh, come on already. Uh, I guess the raised platform is also going to get us to get us over there. Let's go do it. Unless there's something over here. Nope. Check out this room. Oh! Oh, you're fast? It seems the enemies are prone to returning to their original position once the door is closed. Come on. You kidding me? Oh my god, that's such a bullet waster. Employee memo. Uh, September 12th admitted to N2 
Male 45, female 32, discarded, male 60, female 89, September 15th, admitted to N2, males 55, 19, female 51, discarded, female 76, returned, female 8, uninfected. Uh, September 22nd, admitted to N2, males 25, 22, 15, female 16, 21, 29, discarded, 6, male specimens, 9, female specimens, disposals trending upwards daily, Pre preemptively disposed of any over 30 years of age. Okay, so 30 years seems like a really low line of disposal. If ever there's a too low one of that 30 seems really radical september 24th nightly transfer observed by nurse admissions to underground facility temporarily halted so what are those really tough zombies bullet bullet sponges are they just people who have been infected longer It's interesting that in a lot of these cases, they de depict that people have been infected longer as a more evolved sense of a... Uh... Okay, we've been here already. As m more evo a more evolved sense of uh, infected. That's the case in The Last of Us. And one of the things that I really look forward to... One of the many things that I really look forward to in The Last of Us Part 2 and please no spoilers if you've seen the leaks i haven't i've been avoiding them like the i've been avoiding the leaks to last of us 2 um more diligently than i have been with the coronavirus but please no spoilers for that game but i've really been looking forward to new types of enemies because the story has it will be taking place a few years after the first last of us so some of the infected will be even further infected Uh, I'm wondering if I should Let's store that and take out G19. It has more ammo on it S Store one of the I'm just going to I'm going on a bed that we're gonna see more green herbs This is such a large, complicated area. Holy shit. I did not wish to see this. Okay, where the hell am I? I'm still looking for fuse, aren't I? Gunpowder, uh, okay. I gunpowder at least I can combine with this. Oh, phew, that worked re really well. I guess shotgun to the head is pretty deadly to any kind of creatures, no, ma no matter how malformed. Use. Go with me. So that's two out of three. We're getting there. Um, this seems completely dead end. So where haven't we gone yet? I feel like we've been taking more or less a linear route. Maybe I have passed through the one of the fuse boxes. Just didn't realize that. That's possible, knowing me.
Uh, let's install the second one. And we can save some more space for us. Oh, maybe it's this way that I haven't gone to yet. Uh, where is this supposed to... What is this supposed to do? Get me down? I don't want down yet. I don't think. You know what? I do want it down. Get me down. Or this thing can come up. Powder. We have a ton of stuff to combine just now with each other, which is unfortunate. Oh, there are things in here. Or behind it. We're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, so Oh boy. No 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 don't do that! That's impolite! Wow, we are we have become Joe Sandwich. I can't believe I just said that. Okay, let's try to do this again. Yes, there are zombies here, but we're gonna keep them on one side. Okay, there's a little more of them than I thought. Okay, this is Bad. I thought there was like two or three of them. I was wrong. Say ah. Uh. Yeah, I thought that would finish it off. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Get out of here. Unless there's things for me to take. Not here. I, I'll, I'll take the views. What the hell was this? How did they break through this? All right, here goes. Look, look at this big boil of a door. How could a few zombies top it up, topple it down? And what can we get? Gunpowder or... You know, we can always use more shotgun ammo. Shotgun is such a boss. Every This is the same with every Resident Evil game. Obtaining a shotgun straight up changes the genre of the game. That's how. That's kind of always how I feel about it. Uh, when you don't have a shotgun, it's a pure survival horror. When you have a shotgun, it usually becomes something like a survival action. So how do we go back? Do we really just? Clumsily go back where we started. Is there no shortcut for that? Come on. Let's see. Uh, we we're gonna need to go back here. 
yeah, I guess there wouldn't be no shortcut for that because the two places are. I'm. I don't care. I just I'm done. Hey, maybe I can drop down with this. Uh, it doesn't have a panel on its own. Does it? Does it work that way? Maybe I can... No. No, it doesn't work that way. All right. Sensing a boss fight ahead, I am going to I'll bring the flame round along. And the AC round. You know what? I'm insecure. Let's just take everything. God damn Nikolai. Oh sh shit. Oh! Oh, I was stumbling. That, that's not fair. I wasn't able to raise my gun. Guess it's, they're not playing fair. God damn it. Oh, I'm learning. So it doesn't really take Nemesis to convert them. It's the kind of virus they're infected with. Just... Again, it's really fortunate that Jill had half a day before a cure can be administered and it still works. He did. What was he doing in here? Oh, this is immediately another safe room. I don't know. I still feel like we might get into a boss fight at the other side of the door. So I I'm just gonna take everything with me. Well, I'll fi figure out what this is. I'm finished the activity log. Uh, September 26th, 1300, infiltrated RC, that's Raccoon City, I guess. Disturbances are sporadic, commencing mission. 1930, observed the five RPD officers engaged in a pack, 20 strong officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Well, they held on for 20 minutes. September 27th, 1200, test run at a university, diverted a pack including canines to campus, 64% infection and a conversion in two hours, no survivors. Wow, th the whole campus. 2300, successful rendezvous with MV platoon, will make first attempt at dawn. September 28th, uh, 4.30, diverted a pack toward a command post. Result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants, video attached. Do can I see that video? Uh, 0800, end of skirmish, 7 survivors. Is this something from another game? Is this referencing anything? 1800, unknown bioweapon deployed at the point D18, tracking, its, tracking it per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. I'm, I'm, is that Nemesis? 2000, got eyes on two stars, a male infected and a female, bioweapon is pursuing the female. Yep, it was. September 29th, female JV, that's me, has made contact with MV Platoon. 
bioweapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. So it it knows about Project Nemesis, but it doesn't know exactly what it is. Zero four hundred observed the bioweapon welding conventional weapons that seems to be strongly fixated on terminating JV and knows the city layout. Evidence that can be imprinted. Zero seven hundred metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV video attached. JV has been affected and is now responsive. Collected samples per orders. Wait, someone collected samples from jail. Really? While she was laying there for half the day, I I suppose that's possible. September thirtieth, zero uh zero thirty. Over seventeen hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Uh, zero four hundred vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO, a soldier. That's Carlos, I guess. A soldier in MV platoon. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately twenty hours post exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. Will it induce further encounters to obtain more precise data? Will induce further encounters. What an asshole! I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Are you okay, Tyrell? We'll find the vaccine up ahead. This is not gonna go well. We still haven't found Carlos. Oh, we're at the lab section again. Uh, from sewers to labs. Sure, you don't need to stop. Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Okay. Let's get this done. As long as you don't have your gun at my back, we're good. Man, the character models look so great. Oh no. Look at that thing! Shit. Well, that's the kind of further encounters that Nikolai was talking about. Get the vaccine. Yeah, well. Where am I? We're in Nest Two. What is Nest Two? It's just another part of Nest, or it's just a totally separate facility. Is the entire underground of Ra of uh, Raccoon City just an umbrella testing lab? Oh, uh, we need something to scan it with. Sir, can I have your eyeball? Okay, safe room. Wow. So the expected uh, boss fight didn't exactly happen, but it's definitely not far away. I really don't know. I really don't think we're gonna be the one to kill Nemesis. I think Nemesis is just gonna die in the explosion. That's going to destroy the whole city. What can 
come on. Next to two employee regulations. Oh, we gotta read this. We don't want to be out of line or something. Attention, Nest2 employees. The objectives of this T-virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. So it's a separate thing. <clears throat> Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vaccines and a new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be a part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, we got a map for the whole damn place. It doesn't look too big but oh no wait there's multiple levels holy shit this is gonna take a while and since it's gonna take a while i'm gonna stop here and uh, explore the nest facility in the next episode thank you so much for watching i'll see you then goodbye